All right. So it's the next day for uh, the PC build. I didn't record any footage. Matthew did though. But basically, I just want to get everyone ready. Not ready, but just want to inform everyone about what is going on here. So. Me and Matthew yesterday troubleshooted to troubleshooting. Troubleshooted, troubleshooting? I don't know. We launched a troubleshoot for the hard drives. So I'm just going to announce right now the terabyte hard drive Matthew sent me. Uh, I troubleshooted for about two hours last night. I stayed up till 11 troubleshooting it. I am 90% sure that either the SATA input on it is destroyed or the actual drive is dead. I'm going to assume it's dead because I don't think we fucked up the SATA import and I've tried pretty much everything besides like a recovery data thing yet but I doubt if it's even showing up in the BIOS on that. Um, then it's not alive. So, Matthew, you're not getting your $40 for that terabyte hard drive. But what I have found out is we made our boot drive some 12 gigs of nothingness somewhere on the motherboard. I don't know where or how it came from. I don't know if it's the RAM. I don't know what. But... Matthew said he was a Pokemon fetish if it worked, but thing is, it didn't really work. So Matthew technically don't, but he do because he said if Windows boots it has, if he has a Pokemon fetish of Windows boots, and it booted, but we have the wrong boot drive, and now I've got to reset the boot drive. I'm reinstalling this shit on here, and this shit's taking five years, because every time I get to 100%, it says uh, they crashed. And this, over here, the reason I'm changing the boot drive to the uh, the bigger one here, this has about 140 gigs on it, but I couldn't download anything to it. Like, I couldn't download even, even the shit over here that I'm downloading right now. It wouldn't even let me download that, because it said disk's full. Because it's going off the boot drive, and all 12 gigs were taken up, and I didn't format it or anything. So, and this SATA, I've been in SATA 3 right now, I was just changing the SATA cables and whatnot. Let's see if it, it, that was troubleshooting for both the hard drives. But uh, this bigger drive from my old laptop, I'm going to set that as the boot drive. Hopefully. And hopefully the... That works because we troubleshooted on here over here. We troubleshooted on here over here. Yep. We troubleshooted here and it didn't really work out because it kept on saying there's no drives and then there's a drive but no space, which I assume is the dead drive. And then we plug in drives here, there. And then Matthew was like, I have a Pokemon face that works and it fucking worked. And we're all like, what the fuck? Now this is being a cunt because it's taking a long ass time and every time it gets to 100% it says no. And this is being a cunt because I can't even download anything. So I just wiped Windows from the boot drive. I just said fuck it. It was just, I can't, I, it wouldn't even let me format it. So I just did the Windows wipe. And so it's basically brand new. So sorry Matthew, we just like destroyed everything we did yesterday. Almost. But I'm fixing it. I just want to let that out there because this is a pretty beast build actually. Not a beast build, but it's a pretty decent build for gaming. It's a Ryzen 5 1400 GTX 1050 16 gigs of RAM and once I buy my other hard drive which basically will be a replacement for Matthew's hard drive that he gave me, it's going to be a terabyte Western Digital. That's going to be about $40. <clears throat> and I might get SSD later on down the road. But for now, I'm just using this shitty 
Where is it? There it is. You can barely see it. Right there. Um, really shitty Hitachi um, hard drive from like 2008. So that's about it for the PC update shit. Hopefully this works. Because if that doesn't work, then I don't have any. I don't have a vehicle to get the boot drive on here. Because we're using that USB. And if Windows doesn't want to install the creation tool onto the USB on that, then I'm kind of fucking screwed. And I have to go buy another hard drive. Which I would have done anyways. But. Uh, I want to save for the product key once I get the shit going, so. Yep, that's about it. And I'll probably continue this once I have the whole Windows 10 boot drive thing done. And then see if I can make more space.